Well, the news could not be glummer. People were cold and hungry, and there was not much we could do, but here at the North Pole, we had enough to see us through. The North Pole Library Reorg effort was continuing apace. The Visiting Elf Master Plan, or VEMP, was put in place. And I was standing in the Great Hall to admire the polar sights. We'd performed another Windows upgrade to let in the Northern Lights. When in First, a messenger with a package and a letter. A present for Father Christmas, I thought. Well, what could be better? <clears throat> oh, it was from President Madison. We'd already had the pleasure of helping him with the conservation of America's national treasure. I assumed that he was writing just to see how this was going, but it turned out a strong and tuneful wind would soon be blowing. <clears throat> My dear Father Christmas, he writes, I can't believe it's been a year. Now I have a thorny problem, and I thought I'd bend your ear. There's a certain French flute maker, and he's quite a fan of mine, and he keeps on sending me flutes, which Dolly thinks quite fine. This year it's been so cold, I guess he thought it would be nice to make a really rare one. So he made one out of ice! I could keep it until spring, but by then it's sure to melt, and Dolly didn't want to break his heart, and so we felt that maybe the North Pole, if you don't mind that I say it, is a place where it can be preserved, and also folks could play it. <laughs> well, I thought about it, and you know, such things are not my beat, but luckily the North Pole has a wonderful librarian, Linear Feet. <laughs> I'm the best librarian you'll ever meet. I'm the North Pole's most famous library ever. And I know what goes on every shelf. Books, manuscripts, and sound recordings too. Nobody likes them more than you. Prints and photographs, movies and maps, web pages, websites, memes, ebooks, and apps. But uh, do we have any place for musical instruments? Of course we do. We have a beautiful pavilion with all our violins inside and some are worth a million. And to make sure we have the best security around, we built a special vault to keep the nice food safe and sound. Come on. But before I could follow linear feet to our new cold storage system, a familiar visitor arrived, and uh, we can't say that we missed him. Oh. Remember me? I'm Chaos. You've met with me before. I like to cause confusion and disturbances galore. 
Last year, I sent a vicious hacker to invade your precious tomb. In person, I just used my suspicious package to clear the room. Where, where have you been since we last saw you, Chaos? I went to the East Indies, where I caused a big eruption that led to this little ice age. How's that for some disruption? I heard about Madison's ice flute, and you know, I kind of felt that's just the sort of thing Chaos likes to find and likes to melt. So I came back up to the North Pole on my supersonic wagon so I could introduce you people to my fire-breathing dragon. Stand on head, stand on feet. With my breath, I make heat. I am dragon, look at my claws. I am dragon, look at my jaws. Check out my wings and the horns I got. And you'll agree, I'm pretty hot. <laughs> You cannot come in here, Dragon. Your heat is bad for our collections. We have a supernatural security installed for its protection. We have an ice fairy who is constantly on call because we are the North Pole, after all. In comes I, Cold Front. I'm a fairy made of ice. I'm afraid some people think that cold fronts aren't very nice. I'll freeze your assets, <laughs> stuff your nose, chill your fingers, and nip your toes. But in spite of every accusation, cold is good for one thing, preservation. <laughs> Alive. 
But uh, since they haven't yet invented the telegraph wire, I will have to use my 1816 amplifier. <laughs> Is there a doctor to be found to cure his deep and deadly... Wow. Whoa! Here I am, bone Dr. Joculus. I've been watching you with my magic oculus. How came you to be a doctor? By my travels. Would you like Where to... Where have you traveled? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I've been to the North Pole, the South Pole, the East Pole, and the West. I've been to the worst Pole, and I've been to the best. Memory, knowledge, and imagination. Well, that's just who I am. So I've been to every library from Timbuktu to Amsterdam, from the famed Nairobi office to the distant Nav CC. <laughs> Everyone knows the great Dr. Me. Mm -hmm. What can you cure? Ah, I can cure reader's elbow, bookbinder's nose, catalogers' armpits, and dozen toes. I can cure online catalog timeouts. Yes, search engine freezes, and even continuing resolution wheezes. <laughs> and all other librarious diseases. Sure, but you can't cure a saint who's been dead for five minutes. I can cure him even if he's been dead for, you know, an entire strategic planning cycle. <laughs> Would you care to join me on my rounds? Yes. <laughs> So, uh, what do you think uh, you could do for him? Well, um, I am uh, user-centered, data-driven, yes. and digitally enabled. <laughs> That means I take his pulse with my fingers and make sure his chart is labeled. Oh, yes. Okay. Um. Uh, whoops. <laughs> no, definitely dead. Um, so I enriching his experience was my strategic plan. <laughs> so I better bring him back to life as best I can. Yes. Uh, so let me see what I have with me. Um, yeah. Oh, let's see. You know, it's been a few years. Ah! Oh, I have these smelling salts. They're called Old Elon's Musk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can cause a Twitter user to grow a pair of mastodon-like tusks. <laughs> you know, for ordinary injuries, it really takes away the pain, but it's the best of all folk remedies for them as has been slain. Once and for all. If you don't believe in what I say, step in 
North Star and clear the way. In comes I, North Star. My friends call me Bobby. Flute playing is my job, but kicking butt is my hobby. Woo! I play the flute like rolling thunder. I've even played the flute with Stevie Wonder. Woo! I'll play this ice flute, baby. I'll play this ice flute, baby, please. You know the juice is worth the squeeze. <laughs> so I've got a plan I think is more exciting. Let's get them all dancing instead of all of this fighting. Muddy boots and dirty faces. Dances all. Take your places. <laughs> Here's to 
Thank you. <laughs> 